Let's begin our practice in a cross-legged position. Find a comfortable seat. You may sit on a block, put on a blanket. If you have tight hips like me, shoulders down and back, tall, long spine, hands resting onto your knees for wherever it feels comfortable. Gaze down towards the floor or close your eyes for a few moments as we settle into today's practice. Start to deepen your breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. In today, today's practice, we will focus most on, a lot on back bends. So as you go through the back bends, try to ease into them with kindness and gentleness. Try to bring the breath in the back of your throat, creating that ujjayi breath, the breath of sound, almost like the ocean. It's almost like you're trying to fog up a mirror with your mouth closed. This breath helps us restore, renew, and reset, creating a calm mind. On an inhale, open your eyes, reach your arms up. Exhale, right hand behind, left hand onto the right thigh, twist it to the right. With each inhale, you lengthen the spine. With each exhale, you twist a little deeper. Hold here for a few breaths. Three, two, one. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist it to the left. Right hand on the left thigh, left hand behind. Keep the spine long and tall. Let your breath guide you into any of these poses. With each inhale, you lengthen. With each exhale, you twist a little deeper. Three. Two, one. One more time. In inhale, reach up. This time, connecting breath with movement. Exhale, right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist it left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your elbows, bringing your torso down towards the floor. With each exhale, you grow, go a little deeper into the stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, slowly come on up, switch the cross of your legs. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold down. And one side feels different than the other, and that's normal. Notice it, don't need to judge it. Just be aware that that's how you feel. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on slowly back up and make your way into tabletop position. Knees under your hips, 
wrists under your shoulders and we'll go for a few rounds of cat and cow poses. Inhale, drop the belly, chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cow. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, bend that spine to the sky. Last time, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. From here, press into the toes. And come into plank. Whenever we come into plank, you always have the option of dropping those knees down. Hold here for five. Press actively into your hands. Fingers spread, knuckles touching the mat. Four, three, create a nice long line of energy from your heels all the way to the crown of your head. Three, two, one. Press into the toes, shift your weight forward and lower down onto your belly. Come on into Sphinx pose by extending your hands slightly forward. Elbows under your shoulders, hands are parallel to each other. And pull your hands towards your body, feeling the skin move slightly and extend your heart up and forward. Whenever we come into back bends, think length. So lengthen first and then you bend into those back bends. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, bring your hands to your lower ribs and on an inhale, cobra and bend your right leg in. Exhale down. Inhale, cobra, bend the left leg this time. Exhale, down. Few more rounds like that. Inhale, cobra, bring those elbows towards each other. Exhale, down. Inhale, cobra, bring the left knee in, left foot in. Exhale, down. One last round. Inhale, cobra, right leg bends. Exhale, down. Inhale, cobra, left leg bends. Exhale, down. Inhale, cobra, bend both legs and extend your hands at your sides, coming into locust pose, Shalabhasana. Hold here for five. Extend your legs, lift everything up, engage the core, squeeze those glutes, bring those shoulder blades together. Three, two, one, hold here, extend your arms forward for five, four, three, two, one, release, hands at your sides, inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, now that your spine is a bit warmed up, you can press your hips, press into your hands, lift the hips up, Upward facing dog. And press and tuck your toes under, coming into downward facing dog. Start moving your feet up and down to make a more accessible down dog. Widen your stance if you'd like. Bend your knees. Or keep those legs, those feet hip width apart. Press into those heels, bringing them towards the mat. Send, lengthen those sit bones, those heaves up, creating an upside down V shape. Five, four, three, 
two, one. From here, walk your hands towards your feet. All the way to the back of your mat. And lift your feet, lift your toes up and bring your fingers, your hands under your foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend the elbows and pull your body towards the floor, towards the mat. Getting a nice posterior stretch throughout your whole body. Feel free to close your eyes and turn to that internal world, the world of breath, the world of intuition. What does your heart need? What do you need from today's practice? Yoga gives us really good stretches and nice deep breaths, but yoga is so much more than that. Yoga helps us deepen our relationship with ourselves. By paying attention to our breath, and being aware of what we're feeling in each one of these poses. So as you go through the practice, try to pay attention what sensations do you feel in each one of these poses. And from there, with that awareness and clarity, make the next best move. Either get deeper into the pose or maybe back up if it's too much. From here, walk your hands back to the top of the mat. Inhale, press chest back. Exhale, bend the knees, look between your hands and walk to the top of the mat. Coming into forward fold. Place your hands on your shins, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, open your chest, slight back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more like that. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, hands back to center. Last time. Inhale, open, cactus your arms. Bend that back as much as it feels good. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, up, forward salute, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step to plank and pause there. Inhale, shift your weight forward, press into your toes. Exhale, slowly lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, press chest back. Exhale, bend the knees, look between your hands and walk or step to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle your arms up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers, palms facing up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, open your hands, Prana Mudra. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more like that. Inhale, open. Bend your back. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, last time, open. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, circle your arms up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step to plank and 
lower it down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, press chest back. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat. Inhale, fold flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, coming into chair pose. Sit in your hips, bench, hinge at your hips. Heels are heavy, toes are light. If you look down, you should see all 10 toes. Shoulders down and back, pinky fingers slightly in. Hold here for a few breaths. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart, twist it to the right. You can bring your left elbow to the right knee. With each inhale, you lengthen. With each exhale, you twist a little deeper. Use your breath to get you deeper into this pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist it to the left. With each inhale, you lengthen the spine. With each exhale, you twist a little deeper. And breathe. Give it one last squeeze here. Inhale, reach your arms up. Chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step to plank. And lower it down. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog, Bhujangasana or Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Hold here for a few breaths. As you reset and check if you're still breathing, are you still present with your practice? To benefit the most from your yoga practice, do your best to be here now. Yoga is not, as deep, it's not about how deep you can get into a pose. Yoga is how present you can stay while doing the pose. How aware and feel what you feel. Don't judge it. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat. Back foot flat. Align feet heel to heel or slightly wider. Knee over your ankle and on an inhale. Reach your arms up towards the sky, coming into Warrior One, Virabhadrasana One. Emphasize strength onto the outer edge at your back foot, maintaining that arch that will help maintain your knee safe and healthy. Right thigh descending towards parallel to the mat knee over your ankle, hips pointing forward, inhale, reach your arms up, warrior one, exhale, straighten your leg and fold over that front leg, a variation of pyramid. Take a few breaths here. As you feel a nice deep stretch through the back side of your front leg. Five, Four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach your arms up, bend the knee. Exhale, open your heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Cactus your arms, look back, slight back bend. Prana mudra. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, step to plank. And pause when you get there. From here, bring both feet together. Spin onto the outer edge of the right foot. On and in, you can stay here. Or if you'd like, you can bring the right knee down. On and inhale, lift the left hand up. And if you'd like, you can bring the left leg up. You can stay here. But if you'd like a little more intensity, you can bend that knee, 
and hold the left leg with your left hand, opening your chest, creating a slight back bend by pushing that foot away for five. And it's okay if you fall, keep on practicing, try it out. Three, two, one. Extend the leg and arm and place your arm down onto the mat. Right knee down, left leg up. Extend your right hand this time, coming into sunburn. Toes pointing down, heel up. You can stay here or if you'd like, come on into crunches. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee touch. Inhale, lengthen. Last time, exhale, elbow to knee crunch. Place the knee and palm down. From here, extend your legs and spin you onto the left edge of the left foot and kiss your arm up towards the sky. Reach your leg up if you'd like and start bending if you'd like more intensity and hold on to that foot and press with your foot away. Open your chest for five, four, three, two, one. Extend your leg and arm and place the hand down. Keep the leg up, bend the knee coming into sunburn. On the other side, extend your left hand, toes pointing down, heel up. Inhale, lengthen. You can stay here if you'd like. Come on into crunches. Exhale, elbow to knee touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee touch. Inhale, lengthen last time. Exhale, elbow to knee touch. From here, place your knee and hand down and press into the toes. Coming into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath through your nose. Exhale, side out. From here, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat, back foot flat. Feet are aligned heel to heel, or a little wider. Inhale, reach your arms up, warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Hips pointing forward, gaze towards the front or at your hands. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale, reach up, straighten your leg. Exhale, fold over that leg. Variation of pyramid. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend the knee and open your arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Look up, slide back bend. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, step to plank and lower it down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, press chest back. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. From here, open your legs as wide as the mat. Turn the toes slightly out and bend down, hands at your heart, and press with your elbows into your inner knees. Yoga squat. 
hold here. You can sit on a block if you'd like. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. From here, if you'd like, you can stay here for a little longer, feeling a nice deep stretch. Or if you'd like, you can try to practice the crow pose, Bakasana, by bringing your hands down onto the mat and bring your knees onto as high as possible onto your tricep. And start to lift one leg at a time. Maybe you can lift one at a time. Maybe you can lift it for a few seconds and that's okay. Gaze towards forward and hold here for a few breaths or simply practice it's a yoga practice so do your best and it's okay if you can't do it yet just know that you can practice and get there if you'd like to it's all about the journey either way and release back into that squat hands to your heart and slowly come on up Upward salute, bring heel toe your feet together. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step to plank. And lower it down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, straighten your legs, slide back bend. Forward fold onto the front leg. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend the knee and cactus your arms, Prana Mudra. Inhale, reach your arms up, warrior one. Exhale, step to plank and lower it down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat, back foot flat. Inhale, reach your arms up, warrior one. Exhale, straighten your legs, slide back bend, and fold over that leg. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend the knee, cactus your arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, back bend. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, step to plank and pause when you get there. From here, we'll do five yogi style push-ups. So that means with awareness and, and presence. And if you'd like, you can drop the knees down. So inhale, lower down, chaturanga. Exhale, push up. Four more. Inhale down, exhale, push up. Keep your elbows towards the ribs. Inhale, push down. Exhale, push up. Two more. Keep the core engaged. Inhale, push down. Exhale, push up. Last one. Inhale, push down. Exhale, push up. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. From here, on an inhale, lift your, bend your right leg. And with your left hand, hold on to that leg and come into a half ball. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. And we'll do the same on the other side. Bend the left knee and with the right hand, reach and press gently onto the left hand and 
press your leg away from your hand and with your hand push it five taking that bow and arrow tension four three two one release from here we'll bend both legs and if you'd like you can stay here or lift your hands away from the mat and stay here but if you'd like you can hold on to those legs and push while maintaining the knees in alignment with your hips as much as possible five push your legs away while you pull with your hands towards your hip bones four three two one release your hands and legs and bring your hands to your ribs inhale cobra or upward facing dog Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, press chest back. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart, twisted to the right. We've been here before, so if you'd like, but this round you can go into side fold. Bring your hands down and bring your knees onto the left tricep. So try practicing and see what you, you can get. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on back into this twisting chair. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale. Twist it to the left. Right elbow, left knee. You can stay here. Or if you'd like, come on into crow pose on the other side by bringing your hands down and start balancing by lifting your legs up with your left knee onto the right tricep and the right knee on top of the left. Five, four, three, two, one, come on back to twisting chair, inhale chair pose, exhale forward fold, inhale flat back, exhale step to plank and lower it down, inhale cobra or upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. From here, we'll go into a balancing module. Inhale, press. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat. Stay on your back toes. Runner's lunge. Make sure your knees over your ankle. On an inhale, reach your arms up. And if you're feeling like you don't have enough stability, widen your legs, widen your stance. That would help with, help with balance. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. And shift your weight onto the front leg. And slowly lift your back leg up, coming into warrior three. Hirabhadrasana three, or airplane. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, bend that left leg and with your left hand, reach that leg and place your right hand onto a block or on the floor and open that hip, rotate it up towards the sky, towards the ceiling, coming into Chapasana. Five, four, three, two, one, release that leg, coming into half moon, breathe, five, and maybe you can take your hand away from the mat, from the block, four, three, two, one, slowly bring 
that left leg up to meet the right, coming into forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. From here, we'll come into dancer's pose. Bend the right leg in. And you can stay here, or if you'd like, hold that right leg from the inside, from the arch, and raise your left hand up. You can stay here, or if you'd like to get deeper, start bending while keeping your chest open, shoulder blades squeezing together. And extend that back leg back, pushing the foot away from your hand, but with your hand, you pull onto that foot towards your back. Five. Try to look up as you create that, that slight back bend. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly release that leg. And come on into warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, step to plank. And lower again. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, side out. Ha, let it go. One more. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Ha, let it go. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat. Stay on your back toes, runner's lunge. Left knee over your left ankle. Inhale, reach your arms up. Crescent pose. Shoulders down and back. Gaze towards the front or at your head. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Give it one last reach. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart, shift your weight into the front leg and take flight. Persian poet Rumi said, if you want to fly, you need to let go of everything that's pulling you down. So what do you need to let go of? We all have things in our lives that we need to let go of. What is it that you need to let go of? So you can fly, you can create space. So you can become light. From here, bring that block to the left. Place your hand onto the block, left hand, and then bend that left leg and come into Chapasana. And rotate your right hip up towards the ceiling. Chest towards the ceiling. Five, four, Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last downward facing dog of the class. 
Take a deep breath through your nose. Exhale, side out. From here, bend the knees. Bring the knees together and open your legs. And come and sit down. And if you'd like, place a block under for a blanket. And this, we're coming, setting up for hero's pose. So on an inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands back and find where you feel comfortable. You might feel comfortable sitting here feeling a nice quadricep stretch or you can release lower maybe onto your elbows or all the way onto your back it's not going to happen for me all the way to your my back but that's okay find a spot a sweet spot where you can feel a nice stretch where you're not overdoing it but you do feel a little stretch close your eyes and take a few moments here to feel what you feel being aware of those sensations so in these yoga poses we come and then we feel some sensations some we like some we don't like and especially the ones we don't like, we tend to react, have a reactive mind, a cheater, chatter mind that tells you this is too hard, I can't do this. But instead of reacting, be the awareness, try to notice and feel. And from that awareness, from that space of clarity, you can make the next best move. Like Yes, this is too much, it's making me feel pain, therefore I should come on out as a bit, or feel that I can, I can go through it, I can get through it, knowing that it's going to finish very soon. So deepen your breath, especially in those challenging moments. And then know that nothing is permanent, everything changes. Last five. And this pose is going to change into something else in about four, three, deepen your breath, two, one, slowly take your time, make your way back up and come on into your knees, bring the knees about hip width apart, tuck the toes under raising your heels and we're setting up for camel variation inhale reach your arms up exhale twist it to the right drop the right hand down left arm up and then straighten your chest up towards the center towards the ceiling coming into half camel pose half one arm camel pose press into your Five. Chin slightly tucked in so you're not cranking up your neck too much. Three. Two. One. Come back to that twist. Inhale. Exhale. Come on back to center and reach your arms up on the inhale. Exhale. Twist it to the left. And drop the left hand down onto the left heel, right arm up, and straighten that chest, feeling a nice back bend. Five, four, creating more oxygen intake in your lungs by opening your heart, opening your chest. Three, two. back to that twist. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. And come on into tabletop and walk your knees up, cross the legs behind, and then come into seated. From here, bring your 
soles of your feet together coming into down dangle pose what another name for it is butterfly lengthen your spine inhale exhale fold over and down emphasizing on the exhales with each exhale you see if you can bend a little bit deeper into the pose and if you can that's okay just keep on breathing Slowly come on up and bring the knees together and come on all the way into your back. Setting up for bridge pose. Bring the feet towards your sit bones, hip width apart. Hands can be at your side, holding on to the sides of your mat. On an inhale, press into the hips, engage the inner thighs and bring the biceps, triceps under your upper back and pressing your upper back up towards the sky. Hold here for five, push everything up, engage the glutes. Hands can be interlaced under or at your sides. Four, three, two, one, release down. We'll do the bridge one more time. This time, if you'd like, you can come into the wheel pose or you can stay into the bridge. So to come into, so you can press again, come on into the bridge if you'd like, or if you'd like to get deeper, bring those hands to your sides and your ears, press into the hands and lift your head away, oops, away from the mat and it's okay if it's not perfect. And then you, once you reach your top crown of your head, walk your hands slightly in more and then press in, press into your hands. Come on into your toes if you'd like more. Five, press everything up. Four, three, two, one, release. All the way down onto your back. Squeeze the, the knees together, bring them to your chest, and rock side to side. I am still learning, I am still practicing. So if my wheel or any other poses don't look great, it's, yoga is not about what it looks like, it's what it feels like. And it's about practicing and enjoying the journey while we're strengthening the joints taking care of our body. From here, extend the left leg down and send that right knee towards the left. Extend your right hand down and you can stay here or if you'd like, bend that left leg in, hold onto the foot, left foot coming into calf pulling its tail in pose, in yoga pose. Five, Four, three, two, one. Extend your left leg and come on back to center. Squeeze the knees into your chest. Extend your right leg this time and left hand down onto the floor. Guide your left knee towards the right, coming into a spinal twist. Gaze towards the left if you'd like. If you, you can stay here or if you'd like, bend that right knee and reach your foot 
coming into a cat pulling its tail pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release and bring your knees into your chest one last time and bring your forehead to your knees and release all the way down into Shavasana. Spread your legs as wide as it feels good. Hands to your sides, palms facing the ceiling. And do a scan head to toe, making sure you have your body is fully relaxed to absorb the goodness of today's practice. Shavasana. Let your breath go and just be. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like, but we'll call this practice finished. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Much health, much love, much peace.